going on, you guys. Today, we are at a public high school. And it just so happened that we got permission to fish their pond. So I'm going to be throwing a little lipless crankbait, uh, a small 316 spinnerbait, maybe a Senko. I think he's going to maybe throw a little jig. But let's see what happens. God. It's windy. It's cold. And I have no idea if I or he or any of us are going to catch anything. start off with a it's actually a gander mountain medium moderate uh, Shimano Corrado and a quarter ounce rattle trap there's been times that we've came to this pond especially over the summer and you'll throw like a like a small eighth ounce spinner bait and we've actually had days where we've caught like 50 to 100 fish here but Let's not get that confused. A lot of them were dinks, like really, really small fish. He just can't, okay. He's got a seven, six heavy and he just casted a giant musky bait. Don't ask me why. At least we're out here having fun. I mean, it's 35 degrees outside. My hands are kind of cold, but I still can't complain. Any day fishing is better than a day at work. We're off to a different spot, but look at this. Look at that frog. It's frozen solid. Look at it. It's dead. I don't think I want to. Dude, that's this thing's way too heavy. It's a two ounce bait. <laughs> what is it? An old school cotton cordell big O? Using a big jerk bait. Whether you're jerking it and pausing or swimming it. Feels like you're getting a workout. That's enough of that, dude. Here. I don't want that damn thing. I've about had enough of not catching fish. But hey, it could be way worse. Try not to fall. We're gonna go to this this uh this public park that we just found where there's like a, a big pond. And hopefully we can get into some fish there. Brand new spot. Never fished it. Only been here once and looked at it when there was still ice on it. So we have no idea what fish is in here, if we're gonna catch anything. There's only one way to find out, really, so here we go. It's shallow out there, dude. Real shallow. Did you get one? What? What the, what the, what did you catch? He caught a little largemouth. All right. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Well, that sucked. We get in the car and we go to leave, you know, like the cop asked us. And then another police officer stopped us. Is there an accident? Bet you that's the same cop that pulled us over. Do you know? I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I didn't know. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. It just happened. So we just cleared. It, it's okay, because because you know. someone someone came up and yelled at me. One of you yeah, guys, yeah. and I was like, whoa! I was yeah, like, yeah. it's nothing against y'all. You just gotta make sure. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Thanks. Yep. So my friend and I, you know, put two and two together and thought, okay, they're either looking for someone that's on the run or something happened. We basically just left it at that and continued on with our day. We've got one more stop and we're going to try offshore at his lake. And then that will be it for the day. However, I will be taking the boat out trying that great big ass two ounce bait just to see what happens. All right, here we are in a last ditch effort to catch one. Might as well move this paddle boat. There's a few people out at the beach. Looks like it's two kids, a parent, and their dog. You got one? No way. On a half ounce Texas rig. No way. Cold as shit, but I figured ah, I got it tied on. What the hell? I'm gonna try it. I don't have a rod for a Texas rig either. That's crazy. It got to the point where I couldn't feel my hands. I didn't really catch anything all day. He caught a couple. Instead of working tomorrow, I would much rather be fishing when it's supposed to be, I don't know, 50, 60 degrees. But unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for tuning into this channel. And I will see you guys next time.